over Europe. Designed by extremely bold architects and built by thousands of workers and engineers. Twelve gigantic stadiums selected for the 2020 Euro Football Cup and among the most spectacular arenas in the world. You are about to embark on an unprecedented European tour to discover the continent's most beautiful stadiums. In this episode, St. Petersburg Gazprom Arena in Russia versus Baku Olympic Stadium in Azerbaijan. On one side, the flying saucer looking stadium that took 10 years to build. It has a retractable roof and field and is home to one of Europe's greatest clubs, Zenit St. Petersburg. This stadium is absolutely fantastic. It has amazing acoustics. When I get on the field, I feel like I'm walking into a huge theater. On the other side, a venue that has already hosted the greatest Euro finals. Its architecture was inspired by 12th century towers. It can resist gale force winds and the most powerful earthquakes. And it was built in barely two years. Baku Olympic Stadium is the biggest stadium in the Caucasian region. 68,000 people capacity. Considering the amount of the elements, I can say that the timing was the biggest challenge. Get ready for a showdown between two stadiums situated at the crossroads between Europe and Asia. Two of the world's most modern sports venues. Our journey starts on the shores of the Gulf of Finland, on the Baltic Sea, where the city of St. Petersburg lies imposingly. Dubbed the Venice of the North, it was founded in 1703 at the swampy mouth of the Neva River. Nowadays, with a population of five million, it is Russia's second biggest city after Moscow. St. Petersburg used to have two stadiums. The first one was the Petrovsky Stadium, located on the island that has the same name. This old venue with a capacity of 22,000 was built in 1925, and for several decades, it hosted Zenit St. Petersburg matches. The other one was the Kirov Stadium, situated under four kilometers away on an island barely three square kilometers in area, surrounded by the arms of the Neva, Krestovsky Island. It was inaugurated in 1950 and could seat up to 110,000 people. The city council chose the old Kirov Stadium site for the construction of a super modern stadium for the local club to play. It was named Gazprom Arena. The venue came out of the imagination of Japanese architect Kisho Kurakawa, who died in 2007, but is considered one of the world's greatest architects ever. His most striking projects include the Nakagin Capsule Tower, the National Art Center in Tokyo, and above all, the Oita Stadium, built for the 2002 World Cup. Equipped with the biggest retractable roof in Japan, this stadium was dubbed the Big Eye because of its extraordinary design. Back then, Kisho Kurakawa was already demonstrating incredible originality and the capacity to find inspiration where least expected. 
and the shape of St. Petersburg Gazprom Arena is one more testimony to the architect's inventiveness. His idea was to make this stadium look like a flying saucer. The shape of the stadium, its roof, windows, stairs, everything was carefully thought up so the venue would look exactly like a UFO from another planet. Yuji Imayu was a member of the team that designed the stadium under Kishu Kuragawa's orders. First of all, it's a round stadium, whereas most soccer stadiums are oval or rectangular. Only this time, Kurokawa gave the venue the shape of a perfect circle, which forms the basis for its spacecraft appearance. Then the windows are also very special. I remember Kurokawa corrected my sketches several times. He kept saying I'd probably never seen the windows of a UFO. Finally, there are the stairs. They're now fixed, but we initially wanted them to be retractable, so they would look like spacecraft doors coming down to allow the crew out. The day after our project was presented, the local newspapers reported on their front pages that a UFO was going to land in St. Petersburg. We hadn't told anyone that we had designed it after a spacecraft. We hoped people would find it out by themselves. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. So for us, it was a fantastic achievement. I think that wherever he is now, Kurokawa is watching us in his spacecraft, and he's very happy indeed. And I think he's profoundly grateful to all of us. Although a round stadium was extremely unusual back then, another one sprang up not long ago. It is situated 3,000 kilometers southeast of St. Petersburg.